the internet and marketing full of change. <laughs> so if you're not one to embrace change, you better get with it because if you want to talk about your business online and try to get clients that way, these are things you need to know. I'm Brandy Lawson with Fiery Effects. We are a full service marketing agency and I love to share tips, tricks, insights, and things you need to know about internet marketing here on, my, on our Facebook page. So be sure to subscribe if you want notifications. Um, but today we are going to talk about the three things you need to know right now if you have a website and are trying to get clients online. If you're at all talking about your business online, these are things you need to know. So. Do you have a website? I hope so. <laughs> if not, turn this off, go, go get yourself a website, even if it's just a landing page. Every business needs a website. That website might not be getting you clients at this point, but it may just be that verification. So people that meet you in person or see you talk or that you gave your card to um, when you're at the gas station pumping gas, they can go figure out if you are really a real person. Um, I really think that every single business, no matter who your clients are, needs a website. Now that website might be look very different, but you have to have a website. So you, hopefully you've checked that box. Now let's talk about these three things you need to know right now about marketing using the internet. So first thing is just two days ago, Chrome released a new version of its web browser. Chrome's web browser has around 60% market share. So if you were talking to anyone on the internet, uh, likely six people out of 10 are using Chrome. Chrome's new release is now calling out sites that don't have SSL certificates, that is sites that don't have HTTPS, as not secure. So if you start to hear from clients or potential clients or people asking you about why your site isn't secure, this may be why. Um, because they've made this change so that people know instead of in the past, you just get that cute little lock icon, the green icon when it had an HTTPS. So if you were buying something, you'd look for that. Times have changed, my friend. It is now just sort of table stakes to have SSL certificates and HTTPS. Um, so, and we're talking all nerdy today, so that's why the glasses. All nerdy. Um, SSL is not hard. If you have a very quality web host, it's probably also included in your hosting plan. Um, however, it does need to be properly applied to your website, so that might take an expert or someone else doing it for you. But you need to have SSL, and if you don't have SSL, Chrome is six people out of 10 people who use web browsers, Chrome users, are now seeing not secure for your website. So get that fixed. Uh, next thing is CCPA is coming January of 2020. So more acronyms. Um, California's Privacy Initiative essentially is GDPR for California. If you're familiar with GDPR that just happened with the European Union. Um, we're, I really think we're going to continue to see this trend of privacy regulations coming into play so that it's very clear and to the letter of the law about people own their own information. And if companies want to use that information, there are certain guidelines they have to go by, certain standards. And so if you do business with anyone in the state of California, you probably be, better be aware of this. Looks like if you are GDPR compliant, um, you're, you're checking the boxes, but make sure to check your regulations, check with your lawyer, make sure you're covered there, but CCPA is coming. And finally, privacy policies. I don't care where you live. If you live under a rock, if you have a website, you need a privacy policy. It's just good basic practice. It essentially says, hey, you're here. And by being here and doing stuff on our website, here's, here's what's going on. We are using Google Analytics. So your information is being tracked. Um, we use cookies so that we can deliver better service for you and we know where to send you back to when, you, when you've left and come back. Um, it just lays out basics of how you conduct yourself online with your business website. They're basic, you can get them generated. Again, like this is something you wanna check with your lawyer, but you need to have one. It's basic, it's, it's again, like the basics of the basics here. And privacy policies obviously have been impacted by things like GDPR and now CCPA coming up. Um, also, if you collect information, if you if you use Google Analytics, if you have cookies, you really need to be transparent with people who come to your website about what information you're gathering. And that's what the privacy policy does. So it's not rocket science. There's a lot of ways to get it done. You just need to make sure you have one. 
Um, because it's also a trust factor. Uh, a lot of businesses won't do business with you if you don't have a privacy policy. If you want to advertise with Facebook, you have to have a privacy policy. If you want to be an Amazon affiliate, you have to have a privacy policy. Um, and I'm starting to see other businesses look at that as sort of a, hey, are you for real? Are you in business really for in business? Or are you just throwing up a website to have a website? So those are the three things you need to know right now. Uh, if you need expert insights, we, we get it. You don't want to navigate this all alone. There is a lot to know, and it's changing all the time. You can always connect with us at fireyfx.com.